This is Mac OS X Developer Preview 3 running on an Apple Power Mac G4. Now, this version of OS X is the first ever developer release to include the Aqua theme and the dock. Now, if you've seen uh, the video on where Steve Jobs first announced Mac OS X, this is the version of OS X that is demonstrated in that demo. So, I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Now, as you can see here, it starts off with the classic Happy Mac boot screen and it also has a, a little rainbow wheel in the top corner. Now you can see we are on the main startup process of OS X and this part does take quite some time so just wait. Now, last time I had this machine booted up, I had set the screen resolution. However, every other boot, it will lose your screen resolution setting and go back to like 640 by 480 or something. But anyway, uh, as you can see, it has booted up. Now, there are no icons on the desktop. There's no uh, hard disk icon. Uh, I'm not sure why, but you can always get to it by going into Finder, as you can see. Um, it's interesting. Now, there is not like a streamlined applications folder. It's kind of weird. This, this OS is kind of weird to navigate around. But, um, yeah, it does run, I guess. So, first off, let me go ahead and launch System Preferences, which is called Preferences in this old version of OS X. Uh, you can see we have, I guess, uh, interesting looking uh, system preferences window. Um, just basically has all the options, nothing too fancy here. Classic. Now, this version of OS X did come with an image called startupdisk.img. Now, that image actually contains a fully, um, a full install of Mac OS 9. So, I guess when this version of OS X was released, they thought it would be a better idea to have OS 9 stored in an image rather than on the hard disk as a second system folder. So that's quite interesting. As you can see, it's pretty basic. The settings really aren't too fancy. I'm not sure why that happened, but let's go ahead and quit. Now up here on the menu bar, you can see that the Apple logo is for some reason in the middle of the screen and doesn't actually do anything. Now this little icon over here uh, will let us go to the About This Mac window and it changes depending on what application you have running. Uh, as you can see this machine all it says is it ha the amount of RAM it has and what type of processor it has. It doesn't actually um, say what the speed of the processor is. However I do believe this machine is a single 450 megahertz model. Um, so yeah, the special menu is still present in this version of OS X, and the only option we have is shut down. Um, as you can see, it didn't even load the second time. This version of OS X is extremely glitchy. And to set the dock uh, magnification size, you go up here and select Preferences, Finder Preferences, I guess. Um, you can select the uh, dock size, and the desktop icon size, but there aren't any. So go ahead and close that. Now, uh, you can see that I was just in an applications folder with different applications. However, when I click up here, it goes to a different applications folder. 
and it has just a bunch of aliases in it. It's, it's really quite strange. However, uh, they did port over Sherlock. Let's go ahead and open it. As you can see, the sounds are different. So, all a bit glitchy. Uh, so, let's go up to about. This is Sherlock 2. Um, yeah, it's just like, I guess, the OS 9 version, except ported over to OS 10. Now, if you look in the top, uh, the top right corner of every window, you see there's a little button here. Well, as you probably know, on the newer versions of OS 10, all that does is hide the uppermost toolbar. So, for example, if I was in Finder and I pressed this, this whole top part would go away and it would just become a more s or a simpler window. However, that's not the case on this version of OS 10. If I press the button, as you can see, one window minimizes. Now, if I maximize that window, it will swap between windows. I believe this was originally introduced as like single window mode. However, obviously it was not present in the final builds of OS X. So, as you can see, every time I click on a window, it'll just swap places and it is extremely laggy, as you can see. So let me get it out of that. So let's go ahead and close it. Now you can go into the demos folder and you can see there are some apps in here, uh, including QuickTime Player, this thing called Simple Movie Player, I'm not exactly sure what that is, and Calculator, let's open that. So it's just a really, really early Aqua looking version of Calculator. Um, there's also Chess. Uh, this, I believe, is a mail client. I'm not sure, though. Um, let's go ahead and open the QuickTime sample movie, and I can show you that. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty basic. As you can see, it does have the uh, Apple Mail client on here. I don't have this set up, so it's not going to work. Uh, let's get out of this. Um, we have text edit here. Just basic. And we do have stickies as well. Which is just like OS 9. Well, let's go ahead and open this simple movie player. I don't know what that is. Not sure. Apparently, this application plays movies. Okay. All right. So there is one interesting thing I wanted to show you about this in their in in their implementation of classic mode in this version of OS 10. Now, if you look here, there's a file called classic.app, and if I launch that, it'll start up the standard classic as you'd be used to on normal versions of OS X. I'm going to stop that for now. Now if you scroll down a bit, you see another application called macOS.app. Now if I launch this, it should launch in a second here. As you can see, it just completely takes over my system and boots into OS 9, right on top of OS X. So once it starts up, I'll show you something you can actually do with this. Now this is, of course, using the included Mac OS 9 image that came with this version of OS 10. As you can see, the platinum sounds are enabled as well. You can see this is Mac OS version 9.0, and it detects all 128 megs of my RAM. Now, the interesting part comes if you go up here and click the multi uh, or the multitasking option up here and you can see that Mac OS 10 appears as one of the options so if you click on that 
it'll actually take you right back into Mac OS X. And as you can see, it just runs normally. And you can see the Mac OS app is still running in the background. And if you click on it, it'll bring you right back into OS 9. And it runs just fine. I haven't really seen any problems with it. Yeah, this is quite an interesting implementation of classic mode on this very early version of OS X. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back into Mac OS X. I'm not sure if I can just quit it from here. No, I guess I have to shut it down. So as you can see, when I shut down OS 9, it just comes right back into OS 10. So yeah, it's a pretty interesting operating system, that's for sure. Um, yeah, about this Mac is still broken. Um, so that is Mac OS 10 Developer Preview 3 running on an Apple Power Mac G4. So I'm going to shut it down. So that is Apple Mac OS X Developer Preview 3. Hope you enjoyed this video.